Hey, Tony here. For today's 31 Days of Horror video, I'm going to tell you what I watched um, from October the 16th through the 22nd. I was able to watch quite a few number of films, some really good ones, some really not so great ones. So I will be going along with my Letterboxd account if you want to follow along with me. I do have a link down below. But first up, um, I watched three movies on the 16th, and one of those was The Mist. It had been a very long time since I had seen this film. Um, I don't even remember ever seeing it all the way through, so I did finally take the time to watch it. I really did enjoy this film. It's probably one of my favorites and one of the um, worst endings ever in a horror movie, but um, I really do enjoy this film. If you've never seen The Mist, definitely check it out. Um, next up, I did watch Halloween Ends. I was unable to see it in the theater just because of um, time constraints and just working out my schedule to go see it. So I did um, subscribe to Peacock and was able to watch it um, last Saturday. Um, it was disappointing, to say the least. I know a lot of people were very disappointed in it. Um, I was very excited to watch it. I wanted to see how this was all going to end. Um, but very disappointing. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. Let me know what your thoughts are about it. I know there's a lot of videos out there with people's thoughts. And then thirdly, I watched um, a film called Dead Silence. I had never seen Dead Silence before. And so since I had Peacock, I went ahead and streamed it. I haven't got it in my collection or anything. But I did watch Dead Silence. I, I wasn't a big fan of it. Um, there were some really good visuals in it. Um, but to me, it wasn't a very scary movie, and um, the ending was pretty good. The ending was cool just to find out what the story was about, but Dead Silence was the third film that I watched um, last Saturday. Okay, next up on Monday, I got my days messed up, so Sunday was the day that I watched these past three. But on Sunday, I mean on Monday... I was able to watch two films. I watched The Changeling. Someone had recommended that I check out The Changeling. So I finally watched The Changeling. I really love this film. I had always heard some great things about it. I just never took time to watch it. So I did finally take time. It's a really good ghost story. It's an older film. Um, and it was just great. I really enjoyed it. And then after that, I watched Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer. Um, I had never seen this one before. It was a quick watch. It was only like 80-something minutes. Very brutal. Very dark and gritty. Um, if you've never checked out Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer, definitely check that one out. And then the next day I watched Deathgasm. I've had this one in the collection for a while. Um, never did take time to watch it, so I finally did upon someone's recommendation. It was a fun movie. Um, lots of practical effects, lots of gore, uh, pretty good storyline, um, kind of goofy at times, but very happy that I uh, was able to take time to watch that. Um, next up, I watched Tales from the Crypt, Demon Knight. Um, this right here was another recommendation. Um, a lot of people were saying this is probably one of the better Tales from the Crypt films. I really do enjoy Tales from the Crypt. I enjoy The Crypt Keeper. Um, really good, um, fun film to watch. It wasn't my favorite, though. But other than that, it was an okay film. Um, I, it definitely needs a, another rewatch from me. Okay, next up is a film that I watched called Sleepaway Camp. Of course, I had never seen this movie before. I always heard people talking about it, but I never took time to watch it. So I finally took time to watch it. I was not a big... I was not a big fan of it. Um, the, I could not get past the acting from these kids. The storyline was weird. The ending was ter The ending was um, very, very weird. But I know that some people talk about how bad Texas Chainsaw Massacre was as far as the acting. To me, these kids were worse than that. But I know it has a big cult following. A lot of people like it. But I was not a big fan of it. Okay, next up is another film that I watched called A Bay of Blood. This right, this right here was another recommendation. This right here is an older film from the early 70s, I do believe. Um, and very... Um, it was different. It's older. Um, lots of nudity in it. And the storyline... I don't know. I just could not get into this movie either. I wasn't a big fan of it. 
but I do understand why some people appreciate it. But I did watch this from Kino Lorber, Bay of Blood. And then lastly, I wanted something really creepy that I was familiar with. Um, it seems like a lot of the films I've been watching during October I have not been a big fan of. I, I really want a film that's going to be scary or something ghostly. So what I picked out for the last um, date for the, this week was Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. I've always been a fan of this one. I do enjoy the old Hollywood films. I think that they did a great job with this one. I love this one. If you've never seen Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, definitely check it out. Joan Crawford and Betty Davis were just excellent in this one. It's one of my favorites. Um, so those are all of the films that I watched this past week. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about what I watched and what I said about the films that I watched. And also give me some more recommendations of some really good, scary movies that I can watch for the remainder of this month because I really do enjoy your recommendations. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching and we will see you next time.